Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the Pi Network wallet on an Android device. However, if you're using an iPhone or Apple device, the steps will be exactly the same. So let's take a look. And here we are inside the Pi app. So my assumption is that you already have the Pi app installed. If you don't, I'll make sure I link that in the description below. And you can join my group. I have 34 people. To me, that's huge. Thank you to everyone that joined. So the first thing that we need to do to create our wallet is install the Pi browser. So here we are at the main screen of the app and you can see that there's a link right here and then it's gonna give us the option to sign into the Pi browser. Now I don't have the Pi browser installed. So when you click on the link, it's automatically gonna send me into the Google Play Store. There we go. And it's gonna wanna download the Pi browser. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. Now, when you're installing this app, make sure you're getting it from the Pi community company, no other company. You want to make sure you're getting it from the source. So go ahead and click on install. And once it's been installed, you can go ahead and click on open. This process is going to be the exact same process if you're using an iPhone. Okay, so we're inside the Pi browser now. And now we have this icon over here for the Pi wallet. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Pi wallet button. And now we're going to be generating our wallet. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on the generate wallet link and it's going to give us a pass phrase. One thing I want to make sure that you're definitely aware of is not to click on the back arrow or go back at all during this process. You want to complete this and successfully have everything stored before you continue. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter these in a safe location. It's a pass phrase. You don't want to share this with anybody. This is your single line of defense to unlock your wallet. If anyone has this pass phrase, they're going to be able to unlock your wallet and have access to your funds. So definitely keep this in a secure location. So I've just copied this and I've stored it in a secure location. And then what I can do is I can go over here where it says I save my passphrase. I'll click on that. And what it's going to want to do is for me to put it back in here by pasting it or typing it in manually. So I just put it back in and then I can go ahead and click on the unlock with passphrase. There we go. Now what we have is our wallet address. Now this is a public key. It's a wallet address that you can provide to anyone that you're going to be sending or receiving crypto from. Uh, that's publicly visible. If they have this address, they don't have access to your funds. This is just for them to send it to you. It's kind of like an email address, but it's for crypto. So instead of someone trying to remember this long alphanumeric phrase, they can go ahead and use your username. In my case, it's Geekwar, and they can just type that in and then send it to you without even using this address. So I'm going to keep mine as searchable. And then what I'm gonna do is click on continue. And it looks like we're done. So we have our wallet set up. Right now we're connected to the testnet over here. So anything that's being sent or received on the testnet, it's not real funds. It's just a test and that's why it's called a testnet. So I have an available balance of just under 100 and I can send and receive transactions to friends just to see how that's working. When things are up and running and you've completed all the KYC and you're on the mainnet, which you can just go up here and then select the mainnet, you get this green light and that means you're up. Anything in here is real crypto that you can send and receive and you can use within Pi apps. Okay, so we're inside the real wallet. And what you can do is if you're going to be receiving crypto, you can click on this button right over here. And it's going to show that same public address that we were talking about earlier. You can click on the copy button or you can click on the share to automatically share it. And let me go back over here. And when you're ready to send, if you have somebody else's address, you click on the send button and then you can paste their address in here and then type in the amount of Pi that you wanna send. And right now they have the minimum fee of 0.01 Pi. Pi doesn't have any value yet, but when it does, you'll be able to do a conversion of how much that is in dollar value. So once you have the address and the amount plugged in, you click on send and automatically will send the funds to that user. And go back over to the main Pi window. If you click on the settings button over here, you have the option option to show your secret phrase, your passphrase. So when you click on show, it'll pop up here. But this is again, very private. You don't want to share this with anybody because this phrase is your main line of defense. It unlocks the wallet. Anyone with this phrase will have access to your funds. Click on back and any transactions will be shown right down here in the history section. I click on see all. I have no transactions done. I just installed the wallet, but they'd all be listed there and it'd also be available on the blockchain. So that's how you do it. That's how you install the Pi wallet. This is on an Android device. However, over installing it on an Apple device or iPhone will be very similar. Uh, you can follow the exact same steps. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.